guys, my name is Arian. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this pink look with a purple lip using the Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette. So if you want to see this look, keep on watching. Okay, first of all, we're going to start with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and apply it all over the face. This is a oil-free primer, so it's really good if you have oily skin because it'll keep the oil at base. All right, now we're gonna go in with the Naked Weightless Foundation and apply that all over the face, of course. This isn't a full coverage foundation, so I suggest using two layers if you are trying to go for that full coverage look. And to blend that all in, we're gonna use the circle brushes or oval brushes from Anastasia Beverly Hills. These don't take all of your product, so that is why I like to use them with foundation. Oh, and by the way, make sure to really blend that into your double chin and, of course, the hairline because those are two very important things. Now we're going to go ahead and go in with the Tarte Creaseless Concealer, which you can see is almost gone, and very unprofessionally put that on with our fingers. This has a very thick consistency, so I recommend putting drops in it if you do not like the thick consistency or getting a different concealer and to blend that all in we're going to use our morphe beauty blender i love this beauty blender because it is small and can get in all the creases on your face it just works really really well Now that we have that all blended out, we're going to go in with our Master Fix Plus by Maybelline and set the under eyes. You can't tell that I use a lot of product for some reason, but I actually do. Now we're going to go in with the Airspun Loose Translucent Powder to set the rest of the face. You can buy this at almost any local drugstore and it's really really good to make your face have that matte finish. Now we're going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Perfecting Pencil and just brush out the brows. I do use this to line the outline of my brows out. Then to fill in the brows, we use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo and then clean up the brows with some concealer. Now we're going to take a big fluffy brush and wipe away all the excess powder. And now it's time to contour. I'm using this Tarte Contour Crayon, I believe. I got it a long time ago. I don't really remember what it's called, but it works really well. I don't contour my nose often, so don't judge me. And to blend it in with a smaller oval brush from the Anastasia Beverly Hills collection.
After that's all blended in, I'm going to go over it with the bronzer from Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. I just haven't gotten to buying another one and this one came in my Ipsy bag, so this is what I use. And after we bronze our face, I like to go over it with a fluffy brush just to blend it all in. And use the airspun powder to just kind of clean and cut that contour on the bottom. Now we're going to highlight using the Anastasia Sun Dipped Glow Kit in the shade Moonstone. Don't forget to spray your brush with setting spray so it comes out glowy AF. I hate when people say that. I mean as fuck, sorry. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. Just to make sure that our eyeshadow stays all day because I have to go to work. I'm just going to use this shade from the Manny palette to set my eyes. Even though it's a glittery shade, oh well, I don't have another one on hand. So this is the color that I'm going to use just to set the eyes. Now I'm going to use the Morphe M433 brush to apply the first color to the crease, and this color is called Sora. There's no need to be precise because it is a color to help blend it all together. Now we're going to go in with the color Frappe in the inner crease as a transition color. This one you want to focus a little bit more in the crease. Now we're going to go in with the Y18 from Morphe and pack on the color Mars in the palette. It's this really beautiful maroon shade. You don't want too much product. You're just going to put it on the outer corner and then slowly blend it in. Now going back in with the Morphe M433, we're just going to blend all those colors together. I love this brush. It is amazing. It really helps blending all those colors together effortlessly. And with the Y18, we're going to pack on the color Aphrodite. Just on that outer corner again, just enough to smoke it out. So this is what it should look like so far before we go in with the beautiful shade Luna. Oh my god, this color is so beautiful. I love it. It pulls this eye look together. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Don't forget to spray your brush with the setting spray, of course, to accentuate the color. Now we're going to go in with the color Artemis on the palette to highlight the brow bone and put it in the inner corner to brighten up the eye.
This is honestly my everyday look, to be honest, because I love this palette. Now to go in with the Too Faced Sketch Marker to put on that wing, and I will do that off of camera and be right back. Alright, so the eyeliner is done. Please don't judge me. Me and winged liner are still not friends. We're working on it though. To smoke out that lash line, we're going to use the same colors as before and just apply those to the bottom. I like to use this smoky pen that I got in my Ipsy bag just to smoke out the lower lash line. You don't have to do this, but I like to just to give it that more smoky effect. I should use a white liner to open up my eyes more because they're small, but I don't have one so this is going to have to do. And of course we have to put some Better Than Sex waterproof mascara on before we pop those lashes on. Alright, so I popped those natural drugstore lashes on, and now we're going to go in with Sagittarius from Jeffree Star. I love his products. They smell good, they go on really easily, and they stay on very long. I just got this one, so I wanted to try out, so this is kind of a first impression. At first, I thought it was a little bit too purple for me, but I ended up really, really liking it. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you like it. If you do, hit the thumbs up button down there and subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys. Bye.